Okay. So. We got some parts to install. Let's throw them up. All right, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, I needed these parts. These needed to get installed. These are hideous. I have to make it known, I literally live for these parts that I'm about to put on. They seem so simple to most people, but I live for these. Look at the cool little dog on this packaging. It's kind of odd, but keeps my, uh, keeps my, uh, keeps, Ooh, what, what is, what, hello, yo, yup, shiny, shoo, mm-hmm, there's not one of me, there's two of me, two is way better than one. A lot of you guys are new subscribers and you don't actually know about the purple build. The purple build that I had was another Mark V TDI that was literally all chrome trim, chrome mirror caps, the whole nine. I love chrome. If I'm going to get another Mark V, it has to have chrome mirror caps. It needs to have chrome mirror caps. And what's in the other box? I'll honestly tell you that after we get these blue ones off. You're just going to have to wait and find out. That's another good part. You saw that literally only took about two seconds to remove. Like... Easiest mod ever, but yeah, theoretically, it could just drop this right on here, snap it in, and wow, beautiful. But the blinker also looks like trash, so I upgraded. Oh, yes, this is gonna be so much better. And yeah, this little guy turns his two minute job into practically a half an hour job, but it's so worth it. Every time I remove one of these things. I get so nervous. But honestly, I think it would be a good thing if I broke this because then I would have to go ahead and get the blue mirrors and they look so much better, but it'll be for another day and another video. So let's go ahead and remove this shroud. Grab an M10 out of my 100 piece kit. I got this 100 piece kit off Amazon. If you guys want to buy this, it's linked below. And then I was about to remove this T10, but it wasn't even connected. Now we have access to the last one right here. Remove this bottom clip, and then there's one more clip holding this on, right about here. Y you see that, right? You see that? Yeah. No thanks. This is one of the most satisfying things, because you bring it from old. Oh, everything just mates up perfectly. All the corners line up. The clips are all seated. This, oh, it's a match made in heaven. Get this clip back into here. And just give it a push. The greatest part of all. Does anybody remember which wire goes where? Because I don't, but it's quite apparent which goes where. They're, 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 on, they're on the proper size anyway. And then personally, my favorite part. The clip in. Oh my God, yes. One small step for Volkswagen owner, one massive step for Alex Wittick. I'm so stoked on these mirrors. Like just going along with the BLQs, I don't really like these wheels entirely, but oh my God, I am such a butthurt for Chrome. I cannot wait till this trim is just all. Now I need to see what the other side's gonna look like. Abra. Dabra, oh my, hello. Let's get a look at this thing. This side, this side, I'm so happy, so happy. I would be even more happy if I installed some more parts. Especially parts that look like this. So as a Volkswagen owner, as a Mark V owner, this is one of the most crucial parts 
to the whole build. Yeah, it's just a light switch, but at the end of the day, that white switch looks horrible. It's in your face. It's really disgusting to look at, especially when you're doing POV footage. You want something nice to be up there. You don't want a flaky paint, nothing like that. So as you guys know, I'm a butthurt for Chrome, so I gotta throw this in. For those of you who haven't removed this switch before, or you just don't have a Volkswagen, or you're just trying to learn, this is awesome. I had a friend come over to my house one time when I was 17 years old. He knew much more about Volkswagens than I had any clue about. And he literally went up to my switch, pushed it in, went like this to go turn it on and pulled it out. I was freaking out. I was like, dude, you broke it. But no, it's literally as simple as putting it right back in this hole, pushing it like that, and your switch is back. It's tight in there. So Volkswagen, good on you guys. But we're going to go ahead and remove this. And we got to get this clip out. So What's nice is it's really convenient. It's just that one clip right there. And usually you can do it with one hand, but I'm filming. And boom. Like that. Wham, bam. Thank you. Ma'am. Oh, that's never going to work again. Now for the install, it's the exact same thing. Literally just pop this in here until you hear the click. Now that everything's back together, I'm going to go ahead and put this plug right over here. See how it turns on. Okay, good. Before we put it back in, everything's clicked out. We're going to go like this. We're going to go like that. Make sure that this spins so that's vertical. And then we're going to go like that so that's vertical. It's a little bit of a trick. There you go. And now we're all locked in. One, we've got a chromey knob. Two, we've got auto. Three, we've got, I believe that is fog lights. And three, I couldn't tell you what that is because I had that junk before. But this knob when it turns is so crispy. Just listen to it. Oh, the sound. Now, if you have a Mark V Jetta, a Mark VI Jetta, a Mark IV Jetta, it's literally the exact same thing. It might even be the same for Mark VII's and Mark III's. It's just a platform I haven't touched yet. But I have this one linked below, right in the description. It's an awesome upgrade. This looks like trash. That looks amazing. And it's $18. Like, it's literally a no-brainer. It's beautiful. Get it. about it chrome ear caps check clear blinkers check brand new chrome switch check and the suspension settling from last week a whole nother half inch check so what we did in the last video is we went ahead and we slammed this car we did the rear suspension and the front suspension now the rear is settled a ton it's actually talked a whole nother half inch but the body is being held up and it feels like the brakes are on from the fender liner like i am not lying it's sitting on the fender liner so bad. But overall, this build is starting to shape up. I've got parts coming in. They're coming in slow, but they're coming in fast at the same time. It's a crazy market that we have, and I'm excited to even get my hands on these parts. The mirror caps, I overnighted from Japan. If you guys want the link, that's actually down in the description. This car is looking so sick. It's feeling more and more like my own personal build every single day, and it's changing like crazy. Anyone watching this and lives in either PA, New York, Connecticut, or New Jersey, and you have the chrome trim, or you're willing to ship chrome trim, please let me know because this chrome trim has been painted black and it just really hurts me now that I had the chrome mirror caps. It just looks so good like that. I just want the whole build to just really shape up. Go on the hunt for the front grill. I really don't like the honeycomb, but at least this has a little bit of chrome in it. You know, kind of just warmed my heart a little bit. Just imagine 20 degrees of camber, a wrap. We got parts coming in the mail this week and I'm really excited to show you guys that. I also need to go get the wheels repaired, but I don't want to tell you guys too much about what's going on. I want to keep it a secret. I want to keep you guys excited. This build is getting crazy. It's also getting cold outside, guys. The snow is falling. We need an all-wheel drive vehicle. So um, keep an eye out for that because uh, I have an addiction to buying cars and I want to have at least 10 cars by 2022 and a half. 2022 is in uh, three weeks, but you get what I'm saying. I, I, I want to have a lot of cars. I want to have a truck. I want to have a house in every single state. So I'm going to work for that. Yes, a house in every single state. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe so I can hit 100K and buy a Ferrari and camber the Ferrari and then get a McLaren 720, then camber that. Y you get what I'm saying. If you guys want these parts, they're linked below. Help the channel out, buy some parts, and help your own build out and have it look sick. On that note, I'm out. Peace out. Remember, your build is unique to you.
the only one will put you down. And always remember to smile because these cars at the end of the day, they're all we got. Besides family, they are family. This is my new baby. Beat my child. <laughs> Goodbye. See you guys in the next vlog. I love you. Peace. I'm starting to like this car too much. Oh, it looks so good. Yep. I'm starting to love this thing too much. I'm parking in the garage. I almost love this car as much as I love you guys, but uh, you guys make me happy when I am sad. All right, peace.